both films. And both of my stories um, involve my brother, David. He's um, 23 years old. He's my only sibling. Um, and he has uh, severe special needs. He's like very low functioning. Um, so he can't talk and he can't like do anything for himself really. So he lives at home obviously and my parents like do everything for him and take care of him. Um, and up until like for seven-ish years, I think, he went to school in my hometown for um, like special needs uh, youth, I guess. And it was like a really great school. His teachers were great. Like everyone was really intentional about like um, helping him and like encouraging him. Um, and then he aged out because it's more of like a high school, I guess. Um, so when he turned 21, so last year, he started going to this new school called Liberty. So the same year I came to Liberty, we went to Liberty, but different Liberty. Um, and it was, it's like a lot different. It's for special needs adults. So the teachers are um, kind of a lot less intentional. And um, I don't know, it was a really hard transition because they don't care as much about the people that go there. And like, you can kind of tell. Um, so like, it's been really hard, like, especially for my parents, they're really worried about him and um, like how well he's being treated there and everything. Um, and then one of the teachers, she was talking to another teacher about how she like hates working with David and how she doesn't really like him. And someone overheard that and told my mom. And so my parents were like really upset about this. Like it was really discouraging for them to hear because it was already a really hard transition. Um, and this was kind of like close to the time he started going there. Um, and so I guess the moral of that story is like be careful what you're saying, even if you don't think the person that you're going to, that you're talking about is gonna hear. And like, especially as Christians, we're called like not to talk about people behind their backs and to, you know, just to confront the person about the issue. And like this teacher could have easily come to my parents and like asked how she could work with David better, or like what she could do to better understand, like how to take care of him. But she didn't, instead she just like said these words and it was um, definitely very uh, destructive to like my family and my parents. Um, but then they like move teachers around a lot. Like all the teachers are the same, but like they like rotate, I guess, like throughout the year. So David ended up with this new teacher and uh, my mom like writes notes back and forth. They like write notes back like the teachers do about um, like how the, the day was and like how David did in school and he did something well or he didn't do something well, like stuff like that. Um, so this new teacher, um, talked about like how much she liked working with David and like how sweet he was and all this stuff. So that was like really like encouraging for my parents to hear and it made them feel like so much better about sending him to the school and like these like words that probably uh, this teacher didn't even realize meant that much were just like really helpful to my family. And um, we also back home go to, it's like not a, really big church, but it's like, it's like 800 people, but there's not a lot of other special needs individuals. So um, my brother, he doesn't go to a regular Sunday school class, he just has like his own. Um, and it's only him in the Sunday school class, but we always have people in our church that are um, always really open and willing to like help and like stay with him during service.